So, hi, my name is Jimmy and I'm from D-Way Tools and today we're going to talk about our new CBN wheels. They are an incredible product, it is a new technology, it hasn't been done before and it ups the CBN wheel game. It literally is the next evolution of CBN wheel. So the difference on these wheels, the fact that it has two full layers of CBN in separate bonding processes. So it is literally twice as much. You can take magnification and you cannot see the wheels through the CBN. That's how much CBN is on the wheel. So that is the biggest change over the traditional wheel. The other is the fact that the wheel I like is a little heavier, but it is absolutely perfectly balanced and you can run at 3600 RPM high speed with zero vibration. So I'm going to show you this product and show you to open the box because who does this? This is that when you get your wheel shipped to you, this is how it's going to show up. It's going to have your address and your name on it and it'll be in this wooden box. This is how we get the wheels and who does this? So I'm going to show you how to open the wheel, open the box and show you the wheel. So if you don't have a screw gun, you can use a screwdriver. It is just going to take you a little longer. How many people have gotten packages and the contents was damaged because of the box? The contents cannot get damaged here. Okay, so we have the plywood top and bottom. We have these wooden sides that are nailed together. And as well, we have screwed to the bottom. So the easiest way to get this out, since it is foam lined as well, so it's tight, you wanna take your box and turn it up on its side and flip it down like so. And then you pull your wheel up, much easier to take out. So not only is it in a wood box, it's foam lined. Flip your thing back. So take and cut your tape here. It's also foam lined in the cardboard box. So in the box, you'll see a washer pack, which you'll need more or less for certain grinders. So inside is the wheel, and is it, it is a beautiful wheel. This is how it comes. It's wrapped in plastic. On the back side, there'll be some balancing holes that were drilled. This is your wheel. It's an absolutely beautiful wheel. The first box I opened was a 120 grit wheel. I'm going to go ahead and open the 220 grit wheel and show you the difference in between the two. You can actually see the grit difference on camera. So another thing you will notice on these wheels too that I have never seen anybody do. So the inside hole where it goes on the shaft of your grinder has already been pre-greased. Same with the spots on the back so that it doesn't rust. And here's the 220 grit and it is an absolutely beautiful wheel. Also notice that these wheels are serial numbered. So who does that? If there's ever a problem, it can be looked up. It's serial numbered. So there's the 220. There's the 120. You can see that it's a lot coarser than the 220. So the one thing that you'll notice right off that is a different aspect than the wheels that we have before is we no longer have a bushing in the wheel. Um, bushings can cause some vibration here and there and these wheels are a little bit heavier. I felt they needed to be perfectly balanced and it's impossible to perfectly balance a wheel when there's a bushing in it. It's a second area to where you can get run out. So bushing omitted 
Second thing you're going to notice, look at all this CBN on the side. So it is one inch of CBN. Look how big the hub is. Look how big and beefy the rim of this thing is. The second thing you'll notice is we have a very small radius on the corner. It is 1 16th or 1.5 millimeters, so it is a very slight radius. But for all the knife people that like to go back and forth over the edge of the wheel, and we have some of our tools that go back and forth over the edge of the wheel, you don't get that dig in on the side of the wheel like you get with a square edged wheel. And I mean, these things are just beautiful. Um, the way they grind is even better. I don't know that you can see it on the camera. When we mount it on the grind yard, you'll get a little bit close up, closer, but these things are loaded with CBN. They sparkle like jewelry. Now, it's hard to see the jewelry sparkle on camera, but in person, they sparkle. So another aspect of the new wheel I forgot to mention is the fact that it is still like our old wheels. It is a steel wheel, solid steel. It's machined out of one billet of steel. And the aluminum has had a tendency to have delamination issues over time. So our supply, our original manufacturer would not do aluminum. And this manufacturer will not do aluminum just for that reason. The aluminum wheels can be a little more fragile. You can see from the shiny spot, this is a little mishap um, with the grinding jig that was a barely a little thing and you see what it did to the wheel this wouldn't have happened to a steel wheel so that's the reason our wheels are steel instead of aluminum is we just i mean if our manufacturer that makes something this nice says they won't do it on aluminum because they don't like the way it bonds i'm going with that all right so i showed you unboxing the heavyweight wheel which we call the heavyweight champion of the world because it's probably the heaviest grinding wheel out there, but it is also the finest grinding wheel on planet Earth. So this wheel is an exact clone of the wheels that we've always had, only we've deleted the bushing due to vibration issues. So the only difference you really know from the box is I've already taken the lid off. You'll notice that it doesn't have the foam around the sides because the wheel doesn't weigh as much. Um, one's obviously packed pretty tight Okay, so this is the new lightweight wheel. Exact same weight as the wheels we've always had. Um, if you have a one horsepower or a half horsepower grinder and you don't have the power to push that large heavyweight wheel, this is the wheel that you have to go with. Um, we can't stress it enough. You have to have a one horsepower grinder for this wheel. It is the exact same bonding process. It's the exact same two layers of CBN. It just doesn't have this big thick rim and the webbing's not as thick and the hub's not as thick but this is basically like all the CBN wheels out there and then that's the heavyweight champion of the world so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mount these on the grinder now show you how to take care of that okay so now that we've unpackaged these wheels I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the grinder Okay, now before you do all your washers and you tighten all this up, now is a good idea to see if your wheel is going to land in the middle. So if you take the center of your grinding jig, that's where the, the stuff goes in. We're really close to this, so this is acceptable kind of in the middle of the wheel. If you're going from a one inch wheel to an inch and a half wheel, you usually have to move this 
So if it was the other way, you could take and move the wheel out a little bit with the washers. So we do have a little bit more shaft exposed here. So that's what the washer pack is for. He's already got these washers that were on there from before. So we are literally only going to need to have one washer out of this. Don't want it super tight, but you do want it snug. These, these wheels are a lot heavier. You don't want this rolling mass to loosen up. Okay. And what happens from handling the wheels, if you notice, you'll get a little smudge mark. So since there's grease on this wheel, it gets on your hands and you'll see like a little discolored spot. It's nothing to worry about. It's a little bit of grease got on your finger and it got deposited on the wheel. It doesn't cause a problem. show you without an impact so you don't want to hold this wheel when you tighten you want to hold the wheel that you you're putting on and for this I have a longer handle ratchet and I mean that's that's tight so what happens see if you hold this wheel you can loosen one of them up so Hold the wheel you're putting on. Okay, so I'm going to take the washers out of the washer pack. And there's a variety of washers in here. So you've got two of these standard stamped washers. These are the hard washers. And then you've got two of these thicker washers. And then you have one little washer that they actually call bushing. Um, I use this as the last washer. So if your wheel doesn't line up and you need to move your wheel over to match your grinding jig, you would put one of these washers on behind your wheel. Um, we don't need to do that on this one. So I think I'm going to see what it looks like with the two thick washers on there. No, right So in an attempt to make these wheels fit everybody's grinder, the hub is a little narrower than the outside of the wheel. So therefore you have to use a few more washers, but it will be able to fit a bigger variety of grinders because of that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start it up and see how she works. Okay, I'll smooth that runs. So there is some concern because these wheels are heavier that it's going to kill the grinder. And yes, it will kill a half horsepower grinder. But these one horsepower grinders have more than enough power to push this wheel 
The Rikons have really big bearings in it, so you can see how smooth that runs. Um, I think that what gives this wheel part of its grinding authority is the extra weight and the mass. It is so smooth that there's nothing else compares to it. And there's also no harmonic vibration because it's thicker and heavier, so there's no ping sound that comes off these wheels, which you'll see in another video when we're sharpening. You'll see the difference in the wheels that are thinner, that ping, and these wheels that don't. Okay, so there is the wheels mounted on the grinder. I've turned it on. You've seen it spins up pretty easy. doesn't have any lag time. Um, people ask me, how do, how do they know if their grinder is one horsepower? Well, the Rikon grinder actually says one horsepower, but horsepower ratings can be deceiving because some things will say developed horsepower, and that is free spinning with no load on it and they may call something that's 2.5 amps one horsepower at some point when it's running really fast with no load. So the Rikon is a seven amp grinder, so that's a big motor. Um, half horsepowers have three, four max, usually two to three amps. Um, we're super excited about these wheels. These wheels literally are the next evolution of CBN grinding wheel. Um, the way they work is just absolutely amazing. The smoothness, the speed at which they grind. Everyone thinks that the tools are sharpened on a 400 grit wheel and they're not. They're off this 220 grit wheel. So they grind way more efficiently. They grind faster and they grind smoother. We've always recommended 80 and 180 grit for the two standards of wood turning. And with these wheels being so much more efficient, we have changed that standard to 120 and 220. Um, 120 being the coarse wheel, 220 being the fine wheel. In recent years, there has been a trend for people to have a little finer grit wheel. So instead of the 220, you can get a 400. Um, we have a few 600s, but I don't think anybody needs past 400. Um, the 220 is Hmm. super sharp so that wraps it up thanks for watching